Hello to all you wonderful creative people, and as always, welcome to Art in Motion. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to create 3D images for Facebook. But we're going to take that to the next level with this tutorial by showing you how to take your 3D models and post them directly to your timeline. But before we move on, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. And remember, if you become a patron, you'll gain access to the working files for these tutorials. All right, so let's begin. We're just going to delete everything in our scene. Start with some text. Just put it upright. Go to the text options. Make it center aligned. Go up to the fonts and we'll change the font to something we might prefer. Click on this icon over here so we can see what we're doing. I think we'll go with Bauhaus. I like Bauhaus. And then we'll change it. We'll just make this one a little thicker. This one a little thicker as well. So now I've got this nice extruded text. Next thing we're going to want to do is just convert this over to a mesh object. We've just got an object over here. Go down to convert to mesh from text. We can then go into the shading, create a new shader, make sure that both of them have the shader applied. And we'll change it to a red color, which if we go into this mode, we can see what's going on. I think we'll change it to an orange color. We'll then go up to file, export, and go to GLTF 2.0. If this isn't here, just go to edit, preferences, add-ons, type in GLTF, and it should be there. If you're using Blender 2.8 and up, it should be there by default. Just go to File, Export, GLTF 2.0, and we'll save it wherever we want. I've got a folder on my desktop, and click Export. If you have any modifiers that you want to apply, just click Apply Modifiers. But generally, it's better for you to apply the modifiers beforehand, and click Export. Now, if we go over to Facebook, we could then take our 3D object that we've exported, click and drag it onto our timeline. It might take a few moments, and there we have it. We can change the color of the background to whatever we want, and then click Post. Now in viewing it on our browser, it might just show up as a gray block, but when viewing it on your cell phone, it should look perfectly fine. Now just a word of warning, this does have its limitations. If your model has textures, it should come over as long as they are PNG or JPEG. If they are procedural textures, you'll have to bake your textures. Same goes for lighting. If you have any kind of lighting that you want to bring over, you're going to have to bake your lights. I'm going to show you how to bake your textures and your lighting onto your objects. But keep in mind that it doesn't always work out the way you want it to. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. So I'm going to show you with really simple objects like this text. But if it doesn't work for you, I apologize. You're going to probably have to do a little bit more research into your specific situation. So the first thing we're going to do is just select our objects, press tab on our keyboard, press U for UV unwrap. We can go to unwrap or we can go smart UV project, which that works nine times out of ten. We'll then go to our scene settings, make sure that we are inside of cycles because baking only works inside of cycles. We'll go back into our object mode and we will create some lights. First, create three lights. I'll duplicate this one, put it over there, and duplicate this one and put it back here. We'll then go into our render view. We'll just play around with our lights, get it looking sort of the way we want. We'll also make them a little bit stronger. That's our basic lighting that we've got there. We'll then go into our shading mode. We'll then go into our shading tab, then we'll press shift A, go to texture, add in an image texture, and then click on new. This will create a new texture which we're going to use to bake. So we will call this uh, bake and just click OK. Now we're not going to plug this into anything yet, we're just going to leave it sitting here blank, not plugged into anything. We'll then go over to our, we'll then go over to our render settings over here go down to where it says bake and then click 
bake. This will take a few moments. So once it's done, you'll see you'll get an image like this, which is the baked lighting onto your UVs. Now you can take your, your baked image and plug it into there. And there you go. As you can see, it looks like it's lit, but it's not. It's just a texture. So now when we go to File, Export, Export, GLTF, we replace it, call this one Bake. So we take the baked one and we put it onto our timeline. And there we go. Looks like it's lit, but it's not. And then post. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you found it useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or join my Discord. You can always ask me questions there. And if you enjoyed it, please consider donating to my Patreon or sending me some crypto. Thank you so much and see you next time. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. People wanna talk that talk in reality. You have not seen me in action. You think the come up comes overnight. You ain't behind the scenes. Trust me, these things don't just happen. No shade of Gerald, but G's don't come easy when you try to eat our producer and rapping. I read that contract you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself. I'm just laughing. Hey, you try to cut out a piece of my pie, and I ask you politely, what's it that you offer me? Yeah, I produce all my own beats, and I have no intention of losing my publisher. Yeah, independent individual boy, I've been eating our passive residuals. Yeah, let's be professional. Thanks for your time. But I had to decline at a principle hey, I've been scheming up a plan hey, I've been saving all I can hey, You can call me David Rams hey, The way I handle these bands hey, We ain't messing with the old model oh, You are a new kid, we full throttle oh, Just know that the come up is not a flow My amigos, they focus, no one to do After I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest Stack it, stack it, stack it, put it back in it After I get it, I reinvest after I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. Stack it, stack it, stack it, put it back in it. Yo, look, I ain't saying that I'm rich. Cause if I'm honest, I have never been. But when I look at all these other kids, I feel just a little bit ahead of them. You should know the business is competitive. There's a lot of people that I'm better than. Even veterans ain't got the knowledge I do. I've been reinvesting all I ever spent. Stop pretending like you popping. Who been out here making profit? Told my mama that I got this. I wonder if she noticed what my job is. I don't know how I'ma make it, but I know no matter what, I'm finna find a way. All my homies finna eat and I ain't letting no one on my team look at an empty plate. Yeah, yeah. Instagram.